Hello everybody, welcome back to Gear Gaming. Today we are here playing um some Minecraft. We're playing a Minecraft minigame called the Half Heart Race. Now, the Half Heart Race could be judged that it also can not does it doesn't have to be a race because it's already tricky on its own. Um, if you guys want me to do this again and do it with a, another player, I will definitely be glad to do that. But here we are in the half heart race, so we are going to set our difficulty to half a heart. Because I don't feel like, like, um, being on the easier ones. So let's get into this. So it's kind of like the Minecraft map, um, don't take damage to where pretty much you... You have to not take damage. I mean, oh, and I've become a lot more of a fan of when I'm adventuring. I've become more of a fan of trying to not be hurt. So apparently there's a glitch where you can, oh, maybe not. Because continue. I'm going to try that, try falling from there one more time because I think there act there is a glitch to where if you fall on a certain block, you actually won't die. So let me... Yeah, see, I didn't die, so... I am going to exploit that, even though... I'm not the hugest fan of glitches. I definitely do... Ooh. I definitely want to use those to my potential. So, I actually have played this once before. Because I just wanted to see if it was possible. And I actually did end up beating it. But it took me like 20 minutes. Ugh. This, the hardest part is that this is one of the hardest stages in my opinion. Um, I think I died the most on the stage. Because falling naturally is just something that's hard. I mean, you're not going at a complete just drop of... It's like a almost straight fall down, but, you know, there's a little bit of room left to, um, for it to kind of ramp. And you eventually end up having to climb back up. But it's not, no, it's nowhere near as hard as doing this part. Okay, so. No! It didn't jump. I gotta get my my jumping jacks in just to make sure my jump button is operating. So I'm gonna actually completed this while sprinting the whole way, like they sprinted down the mountain and everything, and I was amazed because I I don't think there is any way to do that, and I don't know how I'm supposed to go through that part, and I don't know how I survived from that, but whatever. But I was playing this map actually with my friend, and it was an adventure. No! Uh, but he ended up quitting about, I'd say it was maybe halfway, but it might have been a little less than halfway, because I went on and completed the whole map. And it was very long. It's a long map. And thankfully, there are checkpoints. It's just I failed to achieve them. Um, because the first checkpoint, you have to at least get to the bottom of this hill. Please don't tell me I could have done that. No! Dang it! I'm so bad. I don't deserve to be here right now. I keep failing. My trick is uh, just keep. You gotta kind of stay fast because if you're not going fast, you don't want to just overthink the situation. You just gotta kind of look around, and see what your options are, and go. Look at this. That is beautiful. Uh, now I think I've gotten further than I've gotten so far. So. Oh, wait, no, this is where I've gotten to. Dang it, I thought I did. I thought I've done good. But. 
Oh, yes. Okay. This is it, guys. We have to get to the checkpoint here. Because I have the feeling I would never get back to here if I tried. I can't tell if that's going to hurt me or not. Okay. I, I needed to check the whereabouts of this. Okay, yeah. I definitely can't fall from there. Oh, okay. Yes, I think we've done it, guys. We just have to be extremely careful. Yes! That is our first one done. Let's run and get this checkpoint. Sweet. Okay, now let's get a move on, because that took us longer than it should have. Didn't take us five minutes. Uh, that's how long it took me on the first stage when I first played this map, so I'm, I got a tiny bit better. So we gotta just... The plans are very simple. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We got this. We got this! Ooh, okay. I can't tell you guys how long this episode is going to be. Because, I mean, it could easily be very short. Because I could be amazing. Or it could be very long. Because I could do terrible. We're going to get this cave checkpoint, because there's actually, me and my friend discovered this when we played through, uh, there is an easter egg up this mountain. Because we did not even, we weren't looking for easter eggs. We didn't see that entrance to the cave, so we thought to continue the map, we had to climb up. And, I mean, that was pitiful in its own. but. We literally tried to climb up a map that couldn't be climbed. And we took a good long while just attempting to climb up. I just want to get the Easter egg in here. You just found an Easter egg. Here's your reward. I wish they would have given us, like, an egg, because, you know, Easter egg, get it? Funny joke. Now I'm just gonna kill us, because that will reset us back down at the cave. Okay, let's continue on now. Okay, this is the stage that normally takes me the longest. This or the cactus maze. Um, those both, I mean, pretty much the same aspect. You can't touch the them. No, I never liked this just because, you know, you gotta stay out of the hitboxes of both things. If you guys know, I'm not good with screaming between things, so. Uh, this place really ner makes me nervous. Okay, we got out. But that's not the ending of the cave, so we gotta be careful. The cave does not end for a very long time. So, and there's no checkpoint in the in the rest of the cave, so. We, I do not want to have to go through back through that lava again, so I'm going to be very careful and not take damage. Because taking damage is not fun. I think earlier when I was playing this, when I, when my friend was gone, and I was trying to complete it, I think I found a trap, because I found a trip wire. But it was just a tripwire, so I'm not sure if it was accidentally placed or if it was supposed to do something. I don't know, but it was just a tripwire floating in the air. So, yeah. I don't know why I'm talking about tripwires. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Now we're climbing up the cave. Do, 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 do. I wish Minecraft caves were more like this. These are, like, a lot more adventurous. Hwah! Yes. Hwah! There we go. Okay, let's climb up further. Let's go this way. Pretty much when my f me and my friend play this, he's followed me around. Because I was, like, getting... I was doing everything right, and he was doing everything wrong. So he eventually got to the point where he just followed me around. I don't trust my parkour skills on this map. 
I know I'm good at parkour, but knowing that there's so much at stake. Um, oh, I thought I was going to die because I missed what I was going for. It's the closest block. I think this map's personally easy. You just have to really detect what block is closest to you and fall on it. And yes, we are done with the stage. I'm going to try not to crouch in this one, because otherwise this one takes, like, years. When it could be done relatively quickly. If you were just a walk. I'm not going to sprint. Because that is dumb. I will walk. If you guys are wondering why I was a turtle, well, you won't know why I was a turtle until a little later. Okay, this is where I start crouching. Because I don't want to touch these. Because I am on a mission. I always play in like F5 kind of. Ooh. Ooh, turn. Like that. But sometimes I don't do that because that can really like um mess with your mind on what's what. And it, yeah. So, be aware if you are to play this in a five um yeah oh and uh by the way i did not make this map um it is one of the minecraft realm tutorial world hey there's that string i was talking about i don't know what it's for but i did not make this it's one of the minecraft realm tutorial world so yeah so here's why my turtle power is going to come in handy you see there's an ocean here we must dive so pretty much we just gotta swim through this whole thing, and I don't know why I did what I did. I'm supposed to, I should be trying to come to the edge right here and then dip down. And I hit a block, I lost my sprint, my little speed boost in the water, and I have failed. But there's water here, or air. There's water everywhere. Okay, let's go. I'm trying to remember the path I took yesterday. Because I did this... Um, the day before I'm recording this. So I don't quite remember what I did. I think I came up here. Then I dipped down. Went under. Started swimming back up. There's some space I can swim in now, so. Splish, splash! Splish, splash! I should be coming around to this side. I'm playing Minecraft, not Undertale. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, three bubbles. And if you guys don't understand what the challenging part of this is, if you, I mean, if you, like you um, run out of oxygen, you're gonna take a harder damage and you're dead. So. That's why this portion is challenging. Otherwise, this would have been easy. But I think this is the one portion that I was able to get through without death. So it's probably the easiest out of all of them. But if you definitely don't know what you're doing, it could get hard. But even when I didn't know what I was doing, I still survived the um, whole time I was in here. I didn't die once in the water segment. which isn't saying much because here's the end right here. It's a lot. It probably is longer than a lot of the other areas. Um, but that's okay because it's so easy. Uh, it's not hard. Yeah. <laughs> this is the point of every video. If you go back in all my videos and just watch, it will eventually get to a point where you'll hear me go. And that's pretty much just signifying that I have nothing to talk about whatsoever. Oh, and if you guys want, um, if you guys want to know, this texture pack is pure craft, uh, like pure BD craft, it's something like that, pure HD craft or something. I don't know. You can check it out on Planet Minecraft. Link in the description below if you want to download this texture pack for yourself. I'm good at tree parkour, but 
when I can't take damage, that's a whole nother thing. That's just crazy talk. I think I'm making good time. Um, from what I was doing yesterday, anyways, I think I'm making pretty good time. Oh, somehow I was saying it managed to survive, um, that little glitch. I thought, I would have liked it if I died, because now I can run all the way down here. When not being in the trees. Okay, we're cobweb time. I hate the cobweb. They're so sticky. This is the first cobweb, and I think all the cobwebs after this, there is a way to dodge them. Like, and here you can go around this one. Then we're climbing up. I always hated uphill climbs with trees. And we're going to the nether. The first time I played this, I thought I was actually supposed to teleport to the nether. But there's actually stuff afterwards. Okay. This is the stage where I thought I died inside. I was literally watching YouTube videos while doing this. Because I was... This wasn't entertaining me. Because this part is pretty much impossible. I actually forgot how I beat this one. But I remember how much trouble I had, so... Oh, no, I remember how I did it now. I, when I did it, I was doing it the false way to, like, kind of throw you off and make you think you're supposed to do it. I remember discovering it, and I was just like, oh, my God. You can go through it this way where you take those, but that is extremely hard. There's a whole lot easier way that I'm going to use because I like easy. Just don't touch the lava. Yeah, when I discovered this, I'm just like, I've been doing that for like 10 minutes now. And I discovered this passage that took me 30 seconds to transverse. I hate the soul sand in this texture pack. It looks so creepy. That's why I, that's one of the reasons I hated this area. And I think my first playthrough, I actually switched to my original resource pack. So I didn't have to look at the creepy soul sand. But then it got back to nether, and I'm just like, eh, it's not worth it. I mean, there's not too much soul sand in the nether. I mean, there's soul sand here, but it's definitely more of this. Okay, welcome to the nether portion. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fire somehow when I first played through. Again, I was able to get through this part without dying, but I jumped straight into that flame. Um, I was a dingus. I feel like there's supposed to be fire here, but... Oh, no! I'm back here! Ah! That's such a far teleport. Okay, yeah. So, I definitely didn't die on that part, or I would have remembered being teleported so far back. Oh, uh, I thought the fire part was a checkpoint. Dang it. I would have been a little more careful if I knew I was going to be... TP'd all the way back here if I had fallen down. Um, the thing I one thing about this map is I'll watch um, just a lot of people play it. A lot of people don't do half a heart. I think not doing half a heart takes the fun out of it because you can switch like your hearts like four hearts, three hearts, two hearts, one and a half, one heart and then a half. Um, I think it takes all the fun out of it if you have, like, four hearts, because you can endure a lot of the jumps, because most of these jumps are just enough to deal half heart of damage. They're not crazy falls. But, I mean, on some of the crazy falls, you could abuse the fact you have four hearts and cheat and kind of... Woo, woo, woo! Why'd I go that way? This is definitely the way I was... I should have gone through this fire. I hate going diagonal through flames. That's another thing. At least when I'm going straight through a flame, I can align myself with the flame. Like here, I can make sure I'm on this middle block and just kind of make sure that I'm not doing anything wrong. The 
The flames get crazy, crazier. We haven't even gotten to the extremely bad por portion yet. Ugh. Ugh. All right, I try to avoid the flames as much as possible. No matter where I start to go, there's always a part where you can, like, choose where you want to be. Like, right here, there's so little fire, you could choose where you wanted to come back out onto the map. Wow, this whole lane was just not filled. Yes. We got to the portal. Take me home. We have reached End Hill. I'm pretty sure this is the finale. And I think the first time I played this, I finished in 25 minutes. So I'm definitely going to have improved. That five minutes was probably wasted in the nether se section trying to figure out what to do. Just let's try not to fall off us. Because that would probably kill us. Climb, 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 climb. We're above clouds now. Oh, gotta get the best time! 260! Oh, I thought I died for a minute. I thought I, like, hit the, the uh, ender pearl thingy. And that's the end. So let's just fly along this course and see how much effort was put into this. See, look at this. This is so large. Just one of the sections. I wouldn't even have the patience to put together. See, that's the nether portal. Or not nether portal. That's just the nether section. Then there's the nether portal. Then we got the uh, tree portion that I completely cheated on. By going under, by falling and accidentally glitching the game. I can't tell you. Oh, sorry, guys. Just gotta do that. Okay, let's keep pressing on. And then this was the little cave area with all the lava. Or no, this was the water. Sorry. This thing looks so cool from the side. They detailed this. Even when you're playing it, you can't see. It is very well detailed. I like that. There's the start of the beach. The cactus maze. That actually wasn't too hard. I didn't even die to the cactuses, I don't think. Which, I was not being too careful, so. Then we got the cave portion. That was a lot of... Oh, that looks cool, just looking at it. It's like, ooh, ooh. Then we got the lava. I think I died to that once or twice. I'm not sure. The plains, which was quite easy. And the one of the hardest parts. Um, just the beginning itself. I mean, look at that. That is pretty difficult. It's a pretty far drop. But if you guys like this video, be sure to click that like button. And subscribe if you haven't for future content. Um... Leave a comment if you would like telling me what I did good or what I could do better. But I will see you all in the next episode. Peace out. Well, not next episode. In the next video. Peace out.